Welcome to Mini Metro and my attempt at the daily challenge. This one is June the 9th, 2017, and this is going to be Osaka on normal mode. So let's see how bad I am at Osaka, because I haven't done or attempted Osaka in a long time. Okay, it gives me four tunnels to start with, which is quite nice. Oh, as is my norm, even though I haven't done a Saka for a while. Is put it on double speed to start with for the first couple of weeks, so I can get it moving on to the interesting bit at a reasonable pace. And that is why I need so many tunnels. Because I have all these little, I guess they would consider them islands of some type, over here. Which are going to require me to do something clever to deal with them. And let's go like that for now. I'm already struggling and it hasn't got to the end of week one yet. I've used all three lines. Uh, I'll take two locomotives at this point. And I will take a line because I'm going to need one shortly. starting to go into a non-great situation already. good -o. so we can move that down there, and that around there. And I have my first loop. I always like to have a loop. If I do that, I'm going to get a sharp angle, but at least I separate those two circles. Great, but we will also put another train on the red line. Ah! Well, that's going to have to go up there. And I'm now back to two circles, but at least I've flattened out that horrible angle. I don't have any really long lines which I really want to use a bullet train on at this point, and to be honest, more trains are probably more useful than one bullet train, even though it would move really fast. Okay, not great, but we'll do that. And we're also going to do that. so I can keep the purple line under control. I'm in week three, aren't I? I really could bring it down to normal speed, but I'll keep it going at this speed for the moment, even though the purple line is going to start to cause me a problem. You have a carriage. And you have a second train. I have three circles in a row and a sharp angle. At least gets rid of the sharp angle. Um, I've only got the one tunnel to spare, so we'll do that. Oh. All right, now we're going to go with a bullet train and two tunnels. I'm also going to pause it, slow it down, then we pause it, and we'll put a bullet train on the purple line. Oh no, I do have two, two, two trains on the light blue line. If I 
had more. Oh, I do have more tunnels. Right, let's speed jig this. Actually, get some, yeah, another tunnel back. We can do that. That helps with one of the sharp angles. And I still have my emergency line in case I need it. Better than that, I actually managed to stop there being three circles together. At least on that line at the moment. Oh, wondrous. You had to go put that there, didn't you? Well, to be honest, whatever you put there wasn't going to be good, so we'll do that. Alright, let's you run you up there. That's kind of the whole idea of emergency trains. Is to find problem areas and deal with them as best I can. And I still have enough things to do that. see where the current problem areas are or might be coming from. If I do that, that'll work. Maybe I can do that too. Oh good, and I'm coming up to the end of another Sunday. bullet train and a carriage and we will put I was gonna say I'll put a bullet train on there but actually well, you've got that I'll come back here whatever whichever one you are All right you grab that one I need another line now I reach the limits of what I can do with the lines I've got. Okay, we're going to put a bullet train on the red line. Ho-hum. I really want to shorten the purple line, and I really don't want to do that particularly, but let's do that so... Either way, it's going to be bad. If someone could give me a square out here, it would actually be quite useful. I right, will do that for now, just to... Not say necessarily move the problem along, but... It will help, he says, hopefully. Ah, okay, I've got another station over here. And that will give me absolutely no tunnels. Wonderful. Okay, I'm at Saturday, that's something. Problematic as this may be, I haven't got any truly horrific areas causing me major problems at the moment. Please note the words at the moment, that caveat is quite important. But I really need to do something about the purple line. Oh good, you are going to give me a line. Right. this 
Again, too many circles, but okay. Right. And we will give you a second line on that one. At least I've shortened the purple line enough to make me feel happier. Not great, admittedly, but it makes me feel happier. And that will get well. I was going to say that get rid of the sharp angle, but just move the sharp angle to a different location. currently. Not even the light blue line is behaving itself. Oh great, I'm getting a mass of circles down here and still around here as well. What I am thinking of doing is when I find that silly bullet train again. Right, you have the carriage. Even with a carriage attached to you, you're going to move faster. I also, I need tunnels. Ah, and that's really not going to help. I guess it just depends on what it gives me next and when I, where I can next use my emergency train, which is going to be right there for now. Followed by right there. Seriously, with the circles? Can you give me anything but a circle? Obviously not. That's where I tend to get irritable with this game. More than anything. It's just... It just gives you circle after circle after circle without giving you any other station type, so you have no opportunity to deal with what you're getting in any kind of logical manner. And I'm having mouse control problems, which always doesn't help. Right, you're going to have to go up there. You go over there. Get off there. Please don't tell me it's there. But apparently it's going to be. Have I almost got the end of a Sunday? No, not yet. Nearest triangle is useful. And go there. This has now got beyond ridiculous. 
with too many circles. I'll take a speed train. I'll take a carriage. And we will put said speed train. No, we won't. Where's a red train? You'll do. Come off. Get off. Alright, get over there and go that way then. I really don't care how you want to play it. So I can put a speed train. I put it in the wrong place. Oh, it's still not going to do it, is it? Well, I've transported 1,550 people over 51 days. And that was just excessive circles. Well, I'm still in the top 30%, number 16, although I imagine that will go down significantly. Just like whatever yesterday's score was. Well, it went up. I'm still in the top 30% with that terrible score from yesterday. Top 35% with well, that terrible score. And a better score. Top 15, but no, still a bad score. Okay, it's a score that's finally over a thousand. So Monday and Friday, I managed to get a score over 1,000. Oh, I like that. The guy who's currently number two, Remo Williams. If you've never read the Destroyer series of books by Sapir and Murphy, you should definitely read them. They are the first few tried to be the first four or five tried to be serious, then they just got funny and silly and got funnier and sillier for quite some time afterwards. They're kind of old now, I think they start in the nineteen seventies possibly, maybe the late sixties. But if you could imagine back to that time and what you think that time was like, they're worth reading. Definitely worth reading. That's a great name, Remo Williams. Whoever came up with you decided to use that one. Good on you. Well chosen. Anyway, that was Mini Metro's Daily Challenge Attempt in Osaka on normal mode on June the 9th, 2017. As always, I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I will see you down the road.